Hello everyone and welcome to the session Instruction Type DAA Part 1. In this session and in the upcoming session, we are going to learn about the arithmetic instruction DAA. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the topics that we are going to cover today. Basically, the instruction type DAA helps us perform decimal addition in 8085 microprocessor. So before learning about the instruction type, we need to clear some concepts. So today, we are going to cover the topic BCD numbers. So let's begin. Now in a digital computer, everything is represented using ones and zeros. If we talk about a program, there is nothing but a group of instructions, right? Now each and every instruction can also be represented by sequences of ones and zeros. Similarly, if we talk about the data, data can also be represented using the sequences of ones and zeros. Now coming to data, it can be of many types. We already have seen a few types of them. If you think about it, data can be unsigned numbers. It can also be signed numbers. Then we have the floating point numbers. And there comes the next important thing, which is the binary coded decimal numbers or BCD numbers. So basically, what I am trying to say is, based on the interpretation, the sequences of ones and zeros can have a unique value which will pertain to either instructions or the different types of data. Now coming to data, we have seen quite a few examples involving unsigned and signed numbers. If we talk about floating point numbers, these help us in dealing with the fractions. But today we are going to mainly focus on binary coded decimal numbers or BCD numbers. Let's try to understand why do we need them in the first place? Suppose we want to total a student's marks which he has got in an exam. Now it's pretty evident that the marks will be in decimal. Now think about it. If we want the microprocessor to total the marks, will we do that using binaries? Because computers only understand binaries or ones and zeros, right? So for situations like this, Extensively, BCD numbers are used. If you focus on the name, Binary Coded Decimal, and that's why the acronym BCD. So clearly, we are trying to code the decimals in binary. Now let me explain how exactly it is coded. In case of BCD numbers, we take 4-bit binaries, and 4-bit binaries have the place values 1, 2, 4 and 8. I hope you are getting this reference. This is the place value which is 2 raised to the power 0 or 1. Coming to the next place value which happens to be 2, it is the interpretation of 2 raised to the power 1. Coming up next, 4 is actually 2 squared and 8 is 2 cubed. So we are using 4 bits and using this, we are going to generate all the codes which will represent all 10 symbols which we have in decimal. Notice, 0000 is also 0 in case of decimal. Now this was pretty simple. Let's try out another one. Let's take 5. Notice, 0101. Zero, one, zero, one. So 4 plus 1 is 5. And like this, we have generated all the codes for all the 10 symbols of decimal. And this is how BCD numbers are coded. But the fact is, with 4 bits, we can generate more sequences than this. To be precise, with 4 bit places, we actually can generate 16 different sequences. Isn't it? If you remember, we already have seen these sequences when we were dealing with hexadecimal. Generally, using 4-bit places, we can generate all the 16 symbols of hexadecimal. But in this specific case, we are talking about binary coded decimals. So for BCD numbers, the sequences after 1001 
That is, from the sequence where two digit numbers of decimals are beginning are considered to be invalid. Let me tell you the reason for this. If you think about it, we have encoded all the 10 decimal symbols in binary. So when we are talking about two digit decimal numbers, we have got two digits in every one of them. So for each and every digit, we will have sequences of four bits, correct? Therefore, one zero, we can't really represent this using one zero one zero of binary. Remember, we are talking about binary coded decimal. So for one zero, since it is a two digit decimal number, we will have two different sets of four bits. Now for one, as you can notice, we have already encoded one using 0001. So for the most significant digit of decimal, that is one, we will have 0001. Now coming to the least significant digit, it is zero. Now the encoding of zero is four zeros. So in the next set, we are going to have four zeros. Similarly, for one one, that is 11 of decimal, the encoding in BCD is going to be 0001 followed by 0001. I believe you are getting the concept. For each of the digits, we will have sequences of four bits. So can you tell me what will be 1, 2 in case of BCD? Well, for 1, we will have 0001 and the encoding of 2 is 0010. Well, it's pretty evident because it is in binary as well. So, 1, 2 is going to be 0001 followed by 0010. What about 13? For 1, we are again going to have 0001. What will be the code for 3? As you can see, it is 0011. So, let's have that. Coming to 14, I think you already know this. We will have 0001 for 1 which is the most significant digit. What about the least significant digit 4? The encoding of that is 0100, isn't it? Now let's talk about 15. 1 will have 0001 and 5 is going to have 0101. And the reason for that is, if you look up the table for 5, we have used the encoding 0101. Now, the encodings are also simple because these are coded in binary itself. All we have to remember is we need to consider only the single digit values of decimal. Now, if you notice, for single digit numbers, encodings are of four bits. Whereas for double digit numbers, the encodings are of eight bits or one byte. Now, the question is, when the BCD numbers will be operated on, basically what I'm trying to mean is, if we perform additions or subtractions in BCD numbers, the results may fall under the invalid BCD sequences. And the reason for that is, numbers, they have their own way of forming themselves. If we consider binary after 1001, it is pretty evident 1010 will be there. Now the microprocessor operates in binary, so if we add 9 with 1, it is going to result in 1010. It is not going to result directly in 0001 followed by four zeros. So what is the way out? For this, we introduce something called the correction. Let me illustrate how that works using the very first invalid BCD, that is, 1010. Zero, zero. Now with 1010, zero, zero, if we add 6 in binary, that is 0110, zero, zero, let me show you what will be the result. So 0 with 0, if we add it, it will be 0. 1 plus 1 will give us 10, that is 2. So we will have 0 as sum. The carry 1 we will add with this 0, it will become 1 now. So 1 plus 1, it will result in 10. So 0 as a sum and the carry 1 will be added with this. So 1 plus 1 will give us 1 0 and 1 0 plus 0 will give us 1 0. Now notice we added two 4-bit binaries and the result is a 5-bit binary number. 
Now, if we start to group them from the least significant bit towards the most significant bit, four bits at a time, observe, we have an extra one in here. Now, we all know if we append zeros to the left of any number, that doesn't change the value of the number. So, let's append three zeros more to the left of it. Now, we can group this as a four bit. Notice, 0, 0, 0, 1, followed by four zeros. Isn't it similar to this sequence? So yes, 1010, zero, zero, which is the invalid BCD for 10 of decimal, adding 6 to that, which is the correction, we can convert that into the valid BCD number. Now you might be wondering, does this work with all of them? Well, let me prove that to you. It does. Let's take the next sequence, 1110, one, one, that is 14 of decimal. Remember, it is the invalid BCD number. So we will add 6 with this. So let's add that 0, 1, 1, 0. 0 plus 0 will give us 0 evidently. 1 plus 1 will give us 1, 0. So we will have 0 as sum. And the carry 1 will be added with this. So 1 plus 1, 1, 0. And 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 1. This is also pretty evident. If with 2 we add 1, we are supposed to get 3, which is 1, 1 in binary. Correct? So we will have 1 as sum and the carry 1 will be added with this bit. So 1 plus 1 is 1, 0 again. And 1, 0 plus 0 will give us the sum as 0 and the carry as 1. Now notice, we again have obtained a 5-bit binary value. So if we group them, these are 4 bits. Once again, we will append 3 more zeros to this. And now it's a 4-bit group. Now, if you notice carefully, this sequence is the similar one to this. So yes, adding 6 to any invalid BCD number, we can get the valid BCD sequence. Now, you might be wondering, why exactly 6? Notice, how many invalid BCD numbers do we have? Well, there are 6 of them. So whenever we receive any invalid BCD number, all we have to do is skip the next six sequences so that we can make sure a carry has been generated and the rest of the bits fall under the valid BCD sequence. So the generation of carry and the formation of a valid BCD number is also necessary when we are adding the correction. And do remember, there are six of them, the invalid BCDs we are talking about, and in order to skip them, we add the correction 6. So, coming back to the BCD numbers, as I told you earlier, for every decimal symbol, there is a code in 4-bit binary. And these are only valid because we are encoding only 10 symbols of decimal. Now, if we talk about a decimal number, say 1024, can you tell me the BCD for this? For 1, 4 bits in binary is going to be 000 followed by 1. For 0, it will be 4 zeros. What about 2? It is going to be 0, 0, 1, 0. And what about 4? It is 0, 1, 0, 0. Correct? Now, can you tell me the same decimal 1, 0, 2, force interpretation in binary? Well, it is going to be this. If you observe, this place has the place value 2 raised to the power 0. So, we can call it 1. Now, what about this place? 2 raised to the power 1, so 2. In short, next place is always twice the previous place. So, if it is 1, the place value of this place is 2. The place value of this place is 4. The place value of this place is 8, that is 4 multiplied with 2. What about the place value of this place? 16, right? 8 multiplied with 2 is 16. Next place value is 32. That is twice of 16. The next place value is 64, twice of 32. Then we have 128, 256, 512, and 1024. And placing 1 underneath the place value 1024, we can form the binary number or equivalent of the decimal 1024. Now, as you can notice, both are in binary. But this is in BCD, that is binary which has been encoded in decimal, and this is proper binary. So, based on the interpretation, 
every sequence of ones and zeros will have a unique value. This is what I claimed at the beginning of this session. So do remember, these are the BCD numbers and these are the valid BCD numbers because they are used to interpret the decimal symbols 0 to 9. So in this session, we covered the topic BCD numbers. Remember, this is the premise which we built to understand decimal addition in 8085 microprocessor. Alright people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we are going to get a bit deeper into the discussion of the instruction type DA. Also in the upcoming session, we are going to learn about the instruction type DA more practically. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.